Hey, today we are testing the Boyer M1 lavalier microphone up against the Rode SmartLav Plus microphone. Now, both of these are lapel or lavalier microphones, you might know them as, and I am doing a direct comparison, so you'll be able to hear what they both sound like with the same speech. Stick around, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Darren, I am Creator61, that's C-R-E-8-R-6-1. I'm a Melbourne based creator and this is my first product review. Now I'm not being sponsored by either of the companies that I'm mentioning today. So I encourage you guys out there to create videos of stuff that really excites you. I love my tech, I love my gadgets, and this is going to be a side-by-side -side comparison of the two Lavalier mics today. This is the Boya M1 and the Rode Smart Lab Plus. So to give you a direct comparison between these two microphones, I'm going to record the same audio at the same time with two different devices. I'm going to be using GarageBand to record the audio, and we'll switch between the two. So I'll turn this little bad boy off and we'll get into the direct comparison, the side-by-side -side comparison and let you decide which one sounds best. I've got my preferences, but I'd like to know what you think in the comments down below. Funny enough, I'm actually recording this audio right now with three microphones, a little bit of overkill. I've got the little Rode um, Wireless Go here, so that is getting the audio to the camera first of all. But I also have the two other microphones, the Lavalier microphones, that's the Boya M1 and the Rode Smart Lav 2 Plus, hooked up to devices just off to the side here. And the audio is being recorded through GarageBand. I'm providing so minimal, um, minimal editing on that sound. And let me know in the comments below down there, which one you think sounds the best. Let's have a look at a little bit of a difference here. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus on these two things. Focus, 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 there. So what are we looking at? On one side, we have, there we go, let's sneak that in a little closer, T-R-R-S, and on the other side, T-R-S. So tip, ring, ring, and sleeve, and the other side is tip, ring, sleeve. TRRS is great for smartphones, but it's not great for cameras. So I can't plug it into this one here without purchasing an adapter cable that goes for about 19 Australian dollars. That's a lot of money for a piece of wire. This little bad boy here, that one, will not work in a camera it'll work in a smartphone. The Boya M1 microphone is 25 Australian dollars or thereabouts, and the Rode SmartLav 2 Plus microphone is around 75 Australian dollars. So there is a little bit of a difference. Me personally, I think you get a lot more with the flexibility of this little bit in the Boya system, but the trade-off is you end up with this great big bunch of wire that you have to do something with. Whereas with the Rode microphone, it's only three feet, but then you've got to pay $20 thereabouts for that adapter cable. I think I probably will get that at some stage, but not today. So hopefully you got something out of this review. My name is Darren, I'm Creator61 with my toys, tools, tips and tactics to make you better than you were yesterday. What microphone did you prefer? Was it the convenience of the Rode microphone and it's only a three foot cable or is it the convenience of having this little box here? Here we go, get that. That little capsule there that has the ability to switch between smartphone and camera is the factor 
of having this big bunch of wire going to determine which particular microphone you want to buy? Is it the Boyer's price point at $25? Or is it the quality of the Rode microphone, knowing that everything by Rode is absolutely fantastic? Let me know in the comments down below. As I said, my name is Darren and I am Creator61, a creator of content from Melbourne, Australia, with my toys, tools, tips and tactics to make you better than you were yesterday. Thanks for watching.